wala na pa tayo kuan. Benefits. Although French fries and potato skins may be heavy in fat. 
fat and calories, the potato itself is fat and cholesterol free as well as low in sugar. If it is prepared in the right way, potatoes can make a delicious, satisfying, and healthy dish. Today, Filipinos continue to grow as new techniques and styles of making their snacks and ingredients find their way to the country. For those new to Filipino cuisine, it will be delighting to find that aside from its strong juice, young juice, male design for sharing, the country also has an equally increasing snack of culture. The facts of, uh, about the enlightened the entrepreneurial minds of the students to propose food cheese, niti cheese na niti pa. Our proposed business offers a delicious and innovative snack. It is a deep fried mac potato balls with a ham and cheese that melts into your mouth. The outsides. <laughs> The outsides are crispy, crunchy, and the inside are filled with creamy mashed potatoes and a molten core of gravy goodness. It is look impressive, and they are actually really easy to make and even easier to eat. Puchi is easy to prepare and is a great addition for breakfast, brunch of tea time, and can also be easily carried in lunch packs or served for small parties. So here is our logo. As you can see in our logo, that there is a potato, a ham, and a cheese character that combines together in order to form a magical ball that will surely satisfy the customer. A character cheese implies that there is a cheese inside the potato ball as well as the ham. The circle of our logo is indicated as an infinity, which means that we are aiming to have a long-term business. The circle, I mean, the smile on the on the faces of each character symbolizes that whether or whoever is this product will surely experience the unconditional love and happiness that will make us motivated in our day-to-day -day activities and truly says that cheese na niti pa. And also the there is a vitamin C to 
successfully done in my house. These are the these are the job descriptions of our organizational chart. First, let's start with the top, the general manager, and the duties of general manager will include all the operations under and with the under or the low level of the man, low level of managers and staff. And the responsibilities of general manager will oversee in daily, daily business operation, developing and implementing growth strategies, and improving revenue, and so on. And next is the assistant manager, which is Saida Rosiago. And her duties will monitor supplies and inventory to make sure they're used properly and efficiently, and assign duties and create work schedule. And look over financial statements, sales report, and other performance data to gauge productivity and achieve weekly and monthly sales goals. And next, the financial manager, which is Cheryl Navarola. They are responsibility. They are responsible for the health of our company. That this team. Under the financial manager is the representative is Anna Rodabat and Teresa Lino. This team producing financial reports and developing strategies based on financial research. These responsibilities will monitor day-to-day -day financial operations in the company and so on. And next is the marketing manager which is Jane Bolivia and the representative under the marketing manager is Stephen Cabono and In this team, they develop strategies and tactics to get the word out about our company. They are assigned on the marketing strategies in our product, and so on. And next is the production manager, General Spendalosa. Under the production manager is Jay Yang Yang and Grace Bali. In the production team, the leader is in charge of the entire production process for a particular or set of products. They are the one who plan and organize and recommend strategies in ensuring that the product is developed successfully. Distribution of respondents according to 
gender. Male, with a frequency of 95, percentage of 38.15%, and for the female, 154 frequency, and then the percentage with 61.85%. The total frequency is 249, and the total percentage is 100%. So the table two shows that most of the respondents are females, with 154 respondents, equivalent to 61.85%, while the male has 95 respondents, equivalent to 38.15%. Table three, distribution of respondents according to source of income. Public employee, 94, with a percentage of 48.21% private, uh, public employee. Private employee, 65, 33.33%, business owner, 6, percentage, 3.08%, others, 30, percentage, 15.38%. So table 3 shows that most of the respondents are public employee with 94 respondents equivalent to 48.21%, while so the 6 respondents equivalent to 3.38% in the business owner. Distribution of respondents according to monthly income, 5,000 and below, 21, frequency, percentage 10.77%. And then a monthly income, 5,001 to 10,000, 93 frequency, a percentage of 36.15%. 10,001 and above, 84, with a percentage of 43.08%. So table 4 shows that most of the respondents has monthly income of 5,001 to 10,000 and has 90 respondents, which is equivalent to 46.15%. This implies that majority of the respondents are minimum wage earners and are capable to buy coaches. Table 5, distribution of respondents according to student allowance, 31 to 50 pesos, frequency 6, percentage 11 by 11%, 51 to 60 pesos, frequency 9, 16.67%, 61 to 70 pesos, frequency 18, with a percentage of 33.33%. 71 pesos above, with a frequency of 21, and a percentage of 38.89%. Table 5 shows that most of the respondents that are students receive 71 pesos and above of their allowance that have 21 respondents, which is equivalent to 38.89%. This shows that students have the capabilities to buy and taste our product. So, table 6, do you love to eat potatoes? So, question 1, yes, frequency is 215 with a percentage of 86.35%, no, with a frequency of 34, percentage of 13.65%. Table 6 shows that most of the respondents love to eat potatoes, resulting to 86.35% or 215 out of 200, 249. Total respondents say yes, but 34 of the respondents said that they don't like it to taste so it is equivalent to 13.5%. Table 7. So we're going to launch our purchase product. Would you like to taste it? Yes, the frequency is 215, percentage of 100%, no zero. And in table seven, 7 shows that all of our respondents like to taste our which is product resulting to 100% saying yes. If we're going to sell our product at 50 pesos per pound, which is 10 pieces per pound, would, would you buy it? Yes, for the frequency 215 with a percentage of 99.07%, no for 2, 0.93%, total of 115 and a percentage of 100. The table 8 shows that 99.07% is willing to buy the product at 50 pesos per shop, which is equivalent to 213 respondents. Out of 215, was 0.93% or two of them saying no, which shows that majority of respondents agreed the price of 50 pesos per shop and they are willing to buy it. The so table 9 APS, how often will they buy our product? Occasionally, twice a week, 50. Percentage of 23.47%, often once a week 159, 74.65%, very often once a month for 1.88%, total of frequency 215. So if you make another new tasting flavor, would you prefer to taste it? Yes, 13, and a percentage of 6.10%, no, 200, percentage of 99.07%. 
160, this is the demand product. We multiply it into four, which is four weeks. So uh, it composed in one month. So 260 times four, so 1,040. And 1,040 times 12 months will be uh, one year. So we have uh, 12,480. So we have here the year one, 12,480. As year two, we have 13,104. And year three, we have 13,700. Uh, 59.2 and year 4, 40,447.16. As year 5, we have 15,169.52. In year 1, the customer demand is a 260 multiplied by 50 pesos which is the price of work <coughs> up and multiply by 48 weeks, which is the standard 48 weeks. And the result is 624,000 in year one. In order to, uh, a we predicted in year two, which increased in 5% of sales. And uh, 260 demand customers Multiply by five percent, which is the increase sales. The the result is two hundred seventy three. Multiply by fifty, which is the price per cup, and forty eight weeks. And the result is six hundred fifty five. Six thousand five hundred two hundred. Six thousand six hundred fifty five thousand two hundred. In year three. 287 multiplied by 50 and multiplied by 48 weeks and it comes up into 6,800 <laughs>
For a total land current assets is 3,332. Then the total assets is 917,338.46. So liabilities for year 5 is still zero. And then owner's equity is 63,391.08. And then retained earnings is 853,944.38 for a total of 917,335.46. So the participant of the rate expense is at as you know, when we get ended, so we're ready at uh, rate 1, 2021. So the operating expense, utilities expense on year one, 6,960 pesos, multiplied on uh, 5%. So in the year is 7,308, multiplied also in 5%. The year three is 7,673.4. And then the year four is multiplied, uh, the seven, year three multiplied the 5%. So that uh, the year four is 8,057.76. And then the year five, multiply also the year four into 5%, so 8,459.92. So the operating expense, transportation expense, 2,400 in the year one, multiply the 5% in the year two, come up to 2,520 pesos, and then in the year 3, 2,646, in the year 4 is 2,778.3, in the year 5 is 2,917.22. And the salary expense in the year 1 is 190,200, multiplied by 5%, 199,710. Multiply 5%, so 209,695.5. The year part is 220,180.26. The year part is 231,189.57. And the rent split, I rent split, rent split, rent split, expense. In the year one, it's 18,000, multiply the 5%, so 18,900. And then year three is 19,845, year five is 20,837.25, year five is 21,879.11. And the license and permit is 6,700 in the year one, Multiply the 5% year 2 is 7,035 uh, pesos. And the year 3 is 7,386.76 pesos. And the, seven, in the year 4 is 7,756.10 pesos. And the year 5 is 8,143.81. And the depreciation expense is 8,700. In the year 1, 8,784. Multiply the 5%. 8,784. So, same number of expense about 8,784. And then the supply expense is the year one is 1,500 pesos. And the year two is 1,575 pesos. And the year three is 1,653.75 pesos. And then the year four is 1,736.44 pesos. And then the year five is 1,823.36. And then the year one, all the expert operating experience total of 234,544 pesos. And the year two is 245,832 pesos. And then the year three, total of 257, 684.41 pesos. And then the year four is 271. 270,129.42 pesos and then the year five is 
bag of butter, cream, onion, uh, of pepper, bread crop, and salt. So the, uh, the total extent in year one is 211,200, in year two it is 232,320, in year three it is 255,552, and uh, year four, 281,172, in year five is 309,217.92. We just add per year, uh, 10%
scan, you can pull up na kanan store, and then later on through online selling. So, so you can test the ticket for on the Christian Airbase. So as mentioned in your sort of analysis, specifically in your weaknesses, so you mentioned in there that you have difficulties of calling customers due to these pandemics. How are you going to deal with it? Thank you. You mentioned one in there that uh, difficulties of calling customers due to pandemic. So as a business owner or business operator, how are you going to deal with this kind of weakness? That's why, sir, uh, deal with it very good, right? That's why I'm over ready to price because if uh, there is no pandemic, it's already uh, price that's already to be. So we never, and we serve it, and we offer them uh, ready to price because they, the, the, the virus, one is in the outside. I would suggest uh, that question will be thrown to the strategic manager. <laughs> Market strategic. Market uh, 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 He is mentioned. Alistair uh, is mentioned as a strategic manager, so at least. Uh,
questions and tests soon about. So can you provide a markup for the amount of people who want to do one lab test? Of course, the presentation of your financial statements report. I'm here to be done on the entire company. And Anna, the name of the company, right? And Anna, the initial direction of projected and Annie. So it should be named after the company, then Aswab, here, and Anna. So the kabalo na mga Anna sa yung accounting, di ba? And also, the time of the action for this. Wala 